But all right, guys, let's look for another battle with this amazing team. I call it amazing because it's they're extremely fun to use. They're extremely fun, you know? I mean, considering that they're a little bit more viable than the crazy Pokemon that I usually experiment with, it's kind of fun to see these guys in action. So, this is de definitely a threatening team. We got Heat Man and Mega Venusaur, who is the bane of my existence. And that's not an over-exaggeration, people. I can see Sizzle coming in there with Defog. And I wish I had Fire Punch for Sizzle, but I don't. I do not. Or at least Fire Punch on my Tyranitar for Sizzle. I can see Charizard coming in, but he's probably looking at my team and thinking that Tyranitar is the only one that can set up Stealthies. So he's probably going to go into somebody that can threaten Tyranitar out really badly, namely Aegislash or Scizor, or maybe even um, his Thunderous, whichever one of those they may be. I think Darmanitan will be the best option. It's kind of crazy, but I think Darmanitan may just be the best option. So you know, we're going to go for Darmanitan. He's going to go for Heatran, but he's on a balloon, which makes my life a living hell. He's probably got Earth Power too. Yeah, he's probably got Earth Power. You know what, let's go into Tyranitar. We'll be able to take that. He goes for his stealths. Let's go for our own stealths. Venusaur, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. Alright, so things aren't good right now. You know, we're kind of already in there with Mega Venusaur, who's the bane of my existence, I shit you not. Let's go into Gorgeist, potentially get a burn off on him. He's got... This isn't a Mega Venusaur? That's not his Mega? Holy shit. That's not his Mega. Anyways, I'm predicting Heatran to come in, so let's go for Elite Seed. Because Heatran's obviously going to come in and take the Will-O-Wisp. I think that's the most probable thing here. He, of course he wants to take the Will-O-Wisp, so... That, Heatran's the best switch in here. You're going to go into Heatran, so I'm going to just do the most obvious play. Oh, he goes into Charizard. Charizard takes a ton of fucking damage from the rocks, and he doesn't have leftovers, man. He's going to take damage from the Sandstorm and the Leak Seed for at least one more turn. You ain't off the hook yet, Charizard. Oh, he's a Charizard X, too? Oh, shit. Oh, that's great for us. We're defensive. We are defensive. Massively defensive. So we are okay here. I want, I'm hoping the Shadow Sneak will be able to kill him. It doesn't kill him. Uh-oh. And he got the critical hit on the Dragon Claw. He was predicting me to switch out. But we did not. And we, we live another day. But shit still ain't pretty right now, nigga. I want to go for a Will-O-Wisp on this thing. Even though I know he probably has the Choice Bandit Bullet Punch, which is a problem. He gets rid of both of our rocks. Thank you. But now you have a Burn Scizor. Enjoy. Anyway, so that Mega Ve that that's not a Mega Venusaur. So his Mega was Charizard. But then why have the Venusaur? Maybe he's trying to like fake me out or something. Anyways, let's go for Elite Seed now. He's gonna go straight into Heat Ran once again. This is fine. Elite Seed now is on Heat Ran. He probably has leftovers. He does not have leftovers. Okay, let's go for a Protect. Let's see what this guy wants to do. He's probably gonna set up his rocks again. Fuck! That thought process hit me way too late. So, fuck it. Nigga, fuck it. Let's go... I wanna kinda go for a Will-O-Wisp on this thing. But, nah, that's not... That's not smart. That's not smart. I think, Gold Guys, I can still get some really good use out of you. You'll be great for Venusaur. I want you to get that burn on. So you know what? I'm gonna switch you out right now. And we're just gonna go into my Tyranitar. I'm hoping... Okay, he's gonna go for a Roar. But he brings us right into Mega Blastoise, so this is fine. And we got the Leech Seed coming in, bringing us recovery. Oh man, you know I'm feeling this right now. Okay, so considering that he is probably threatened by my Blastoise with his Heat Ram, I can see him potentially going into maybe like Thunderous or something like that. I can see the Thunderous switch coming in so well. But either way, either way, I mean, I don't know. All my moves do the same amount of damage when you consider Mega Launcher and Stab, because Mega Launcher powers up Dark Pulse and Nora Spheres if they're Stab. And, um, and um, Stab powers up my Skull to the point where, you know, it's the same damage as the Mega Launcher boosted moves. So it doesn't really matter what I go for, I just gotta predict something correctly. I kinda wanna go for a Skull. Or maybe predict Mega Venusaur coming in. Or predict Aegislash coming in. Fuck it, Dark Pulse hits everything. Venusaur, I mean, I keep saying Mega Venusaur, it's not Mega. This thing, I don't know if... If you were Mega Venusaur, maybe you'd be able to stay in a little bit better. But you're not Mega. 
You are a regular Venusaur. Holy shit, he got a critical hit on me? Why? That mattered. I could have stayed in there and killed him with two Dark Pulses, perhaps, but that, that crit mattered. And he's faster than me, too? Shit. This ain't good. Alright, fuck it. We gotta go into my Tyranitar now and get up our stealthies. We'll be able to take the Giga Dream, but no problem. He goes for a Sludge Bomb. We took that. There's no issue here. So now, stealthies. Let's go. He has Sleep Powder, too! God damn, this Venusaur functions just like his Mega Counterpart. He just... He just doesn't have the Mega Evolution. Fuck it, let's burn off a, a turn of sleep. And we lose the Sandstorm, too? Shit. Oh, we, and we got the first turn wake up. Let's go! Tyranitar's in the building. We got up our rocks. We got we got a lot of stick working out for us in our favor. He's probably gonna go for another Sleep Powder, though. So you know what? That's when we go into our motherfucking Gore guys right here. Um... Oh, the Sludge Bomb, really? Hmm. I really want to go for Elite Seed predicting Heat Ran once again, but uh, that's too obvious. Let's just go for the Willow. Age of Slash. Take that Willow Wisp right to the fucking face. Let's go. This is a great situation for me right now. So, you know, I, I knew that most likely he was going to probably maybe even stay in, but I didn't think Heat Ran was going to come in again. Let's Leech Seed this guy once again. Because, you know, even though if he goes to our Sword Dance, we can take Age of Slash's moves for days right now, considering that I'm max defense. I think an impish nature, something like that. I'm really solid right now. I think I'm extremely solid. So I'm, I'm down for taking whatever Age of Slash. And we miss, of course. I'm not even surprised. How do Oh, he's a he's a special Age of Slash. Oh. Damn it. You know what? Let's just get off as much damage as we can on this thing. Because since, you know, them stealthies aren't going away. Shadow Sneak this bitch. He switches. Oh, shit. What are you going to do? Defog for us again? This heat ran. I think he might still have his balloon. Did I break his balloon? I think I broke this heat ran's balloon. Um. Let me see. Did I? I don't think I did. But you know what? I'll know when heat ran comes in. Right now, I'm seeing this as a great chance to go into my my Darmanitan, and because he's going to defog, he's going to defog it up. He goes for the knockoff. Shit, that's actually kind of bad. But um, that still did a lot of damage considering this guy's burn. I'm kind of surprised by that. But anyways, we're going to go for the rock slide here. Yeah, we're just going to go for the solid rock slide. It's not powered up by our life orb anymore. But it doesn't really matter because Darmanitan still has monstrous attack. Even with the Jolly Nature. And um, I still got Sheer Force on my side. So Sheer Force is like a life orb in itself. I'm just losing the second life orb that I have in the form of my actual life orb. So, Sheer Force, man. Sheer Force, you should still power up that rock slide enough to be able to do some serious damage. I want to catch Heat Ran coming in and pop that balloon, because I can't remember for the life of me if that thing has popped or not. I gotta, I gotta write that note down whenever I get a chance. But so far, the match is kind of even, you know? Like, sure, he doesn't have his Charizard, so I guess you may say it's in my favor, but it's not. Because this Pokemon can still run train, and we haven't seen that goddamn Thunderous yet. I don't know, this Scizor lost his chance. He could have set up a defog on me, but he didn't. So now, he's sort of in a crazy position because he's not going to be able to KO my Haxorus with his Thunderous because he doesn't have any, Hidden Power Ice ain't going to KO my Haxorus in one hit. So I don't know, this guy's kind of in a, in a little bit of an odd position. I don't know why he did what he did. Because even though what he did feels wrong, um, do you still have your balloon? He still had his balloon. We're gonna catch him with the rock slide. Goodbye to your balloon. And now we are going to wrap this up with a goddamn earthquake. Let's do some work. Heat ran is out of the picture. Shit is looking really solid for us. What I can see happening now, thunder is coming. Of course, here we go, baby. Let's go, I was waiting for you. But of course, I'm not gonna give you up yet because, oh, Darmanitan fucks up everybody else on your team besides thunder. So you know what? It's time, let's go into Gorgeist. Gorgeist, you've done so much work. You've done so much goddamn work. I love Gorgeist so much. I cannot wait for the Wi-Fi battles to start so that way I can I can have Gorgeist do some real work in there. But for now, we're gonna go into Haxorus and I'm just gonna go straight up for, I don't know, what should I go for? Maybe, I don't have anything, but because my, my set for Haxorus is kind of crazy. I have Poison Jab, Outrage, Superpower, Earthquake, blah, blah, blah. I kind of want to go for the Superpower I kind of want to go for the superpower. 
Nah, you know what? I want to go for Tyranitar and go for an Ice Punch. Man, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to toss this game right now. But I don't think Age of Slash is a problem as long as we have Darmanitan alive. So you know what? Maybe we should go into Tyranitar, save Hack Source for a later, later game. You know, I still am banking on the fact that Mega Blastoise can come in and get a rapid spin off on something. Yeah, I'm. I'm really, really hoping that Blastoise can come back in on those Stealth Rocks. Although he has 12 HP, 12% HP left. I don't know if that's a possibility right now. But we're gonna go for this Ice Punch. Yeah, fuck it. Let's force. If this Thunder switches out, you're taking way more energy hazard damage than you want to be taking. So we're just going to go for the motherfucking Ice Punch. Fuck it. And the Aegis Slash is burned. So, you know, we don't have to worry about him setting up on my face. I would worry initially about Aegis Slash coming in and setting up, but I'm not worried about that right now if that thing is burned. Alright, so Venusaur, the conditions are a little bit different now. Last time, this motherfucker had me with Tyranitar out there with no sand. This time, they're sand. This time, I'm living that damn Giga Drain. The, the ass punch, shit. I totally forgot about that. I, for, I totally forgot about the sleep powder, the sleep powder. I said the ass punch, nah, the, um, I, I meant the sleep powder. Damn, I did not see that coming, okay. The Giga Drain, man, I know he's gonna go for it. Let's go into my... You know what? Fuck it. Time to go into my specially defensive wall. Cut Atlantics. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is the right choice to make. But I know you'll be able to take those a little bit better. So, fuck it. You know, um... Let's just go for waterfalls. I'm hoping they'll be able to do something to this guy. Oh, let's go for a roar, maybe. Oh, yeah. Synthesis, too? Thankfully, the, sun, the sand was up. So, you know, he's not going to be able to um, get too much benefit from that. But now we are back in there with Thunderous, but you know what, it's fine. The entry has a damage, I want him to take that as much as possible. At least now we can try to wake up with Tyranitar. And we're sleeping, so you know, we, we get benefit from that. Now, I can see Giga Drain coming in again, once more. But, you know what, let's go for Axorus, I'm predicting Venus to come back. He goes for the nasty plot, shit. This isn't good. This is not good, but now we can kill this thing without using Outrage. Which is the which is what I was aiming for from before. So you know what, let's go for a Poison Jab. If he has Hidden Power Ice, I don't think it'll be able to kill us. I'm hoping it won't. He has Life Orb with it though. Life Orb and Nasty Plot. I'm hoping he doesn't, he's not able to kill Hacksaws with that shit. Hidden Power Ice is not, that's not Stab, it's only 60 base power. Please do not be able to kill us with that shit. This is kind of crazy. Okay, he goes for the Thunder Wave. This is fine. He finally loses Thunderous. Woo! Shit works out really well for us, and now we're immune to sleep. So if Tyranitar does happen to wake up later on, we're still A-OK. -okay. We're still solid. Let's go for an Earthquake now. Shit. This thing. Oh, yeah. He's not... He's not physical. But OK. This is OK. Because now we can go into Darmanitan. Yep, it's time, Darmanitan. It's time to put in some work, baby. Although this Life Orb is going to kill you. Wait, you don't have the life orb anymore! Earthquake! Oh, I hope this thing doesn't have Shadow Sneak. I hope he doesn't have Shadow Sneak. Please don't have Shadow Sneak. Does he have Shadow Sneak? Does he have Shadow Sneak? If he has Shadow Sneak, we're fucked. Oh, no, okay, he... Shit, but this still isn't good, though. This still is not good, though. Alright, so now we have... We're kind of in a bad position. I'll be honest. Now we, we've kind of we're kind of in a bad position. Holy shit! Darmanitan dying gave us this gave this guy a win condition, potentially. Well, unless we stall out for another turn, maybe we could stall out for another turn. I think. I don't think this guy has any physical moves. So fuck it. Let's go for Tyranitar. Yeah, let's go for Tyranitar. And but then again, he has Flash Cannon. All we need to do is just stall him out one more turn, and then he can die to the burn. Um, he's gonna go for the Sacred Sword. It's a good thing we switched out. God damn. But alright, so now Aegis Slash is down for the burn. And um, he still has Scizor in there, who is a problem. God damn it, this is really kind of crazy right now. Uh, shit. Let's go for a Thunder Wave to make sure that this guy is going to be slower than us at all times. 
I kind of want to just make him slow, so this way, at least he'll be slower than Tyrannosaur. Although he's probably going to outspeed us. This thing seems like it's pretty fast. This is a crazy battle, man. It's mostly taking this long. Okay, we actually managed to get the paralysis. And he gets a critical hit, you know, but then again, it probably didn't matter anyways. But now things rest on the hands of Tyrannosaur. Oh man, yeah, this is not looking good for us. This is not looking good whatsoever. He woke up on the first turn, holy shit. Ice Punch did some pretty good damage, but he, yeah, damn it! Shit, Darmanitan was the last thing we had. Damn, man. I was really hoping Darmanitan would be able to kill that um, Aegislash with the um, Earthquake, but yeah, Blastoise is not going to be able to. Lam! Stealthies took him out! No! Good game. Crazy fucking battle. That was, that was insane. Really, really good game. Shit, man. Darmanitan! Oh, man, Darmanitan. If, he, if only he had done a little bit more damage to Aegislash, I would have been able to clean the game up from there, but nope. Things just didn't work out that way. It was too bad, but it was still a really fun game. You never, you never know how it's gonna end until it ends. Insane. That reminds me of the Heat versus the Pacers last year. Oh shit.